Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own exception and throw it, what the keyword throw means, without the S on it. So throws and throw are a little bit different, but they're related, and I'm going to show you how. First, um, this is going to be the, the main method area. Let's make a exception class. Uh, it'll be in Java 42 throw your own exception and go into the source okay now let's say the, the point the exception I want to throw is I'm gonna to try to create a username and when you do that you know sometimes they have all these restrictions on the length of it uh, some it must have a capital letter it might, must have a number you know certain things like that I'm just gonna use one example I'll just test if it has a number and I want to create an exception if it doesn't that lets the user know that you don't have a number in there. So I'm going to say must have, whoops, no spaces, must have number exception. And when you create an exception, it's always a good idea to use exception as the super class. All right. Don't worry about this right now. This is about serialization. Um, it won't mess up you running a small project like this. So first things first is you need an instance variable um, let's just say string uh, let's say private string password and we need a constructor public must have number exception and that's going to take in its parameters a password a string type so we want to assign what was passed in here to this variable and you do that by saying this dot password if you remember this is referring to the password for the class equals the password that's being passed in the parameters now let's make a two string public string to string and this is what will be returned if this exception is thrown so what we want to do is we want to return a string and we want to say um, let's say your username must must contain at least one number okay and then we'll just show them the password they had thrown in there just to show that they didn't add the number why is that not working whoops I need to concatenate it all right there we go so this is your exception class you just created for yourself now let's go over here to this driver class and make a public static void main method with the string art and we are going to pat try to pass in um, Usernames within the main method, but I'm going to make a method in here that will throw the method so that will test the username you plug in here and down here will throw the method. So let's say public static uh, void um, check for digits. Okay, and that's going to take in a string. We can also say password, or we'll just say PW to be short because this might be a long video. We want to say, um, well, we want to loop through the password each character at a time to see if it's a digit. And the way we do this is first we're going to need to say int digit equals zero. So we're going to set a variable called digit. And we're going to loop through every single character of the password. And if it's a digit, we're going to increment this, this variable digit and check if digit um, is zero after we go through the whole password. Then we will throw the method or the uh, exception that no, no number was found. So bear with me on this one. Let's say 
for let's say n i equals zero. Oops. And while i is less than password pw dot length. Okay. And now we're going to increment through that. And to test if some if the character is a digit, we are going to use something from the character class, and it's called well, we need an if method first. If, and we're going to say capital C for character dot, you can test if it's a digit, if it's alphabetical, um, all types of things. Look how many methods the character class has. You can test if it's uppercase, lowercase. You know, a lot, a lot of uh, methods that would help you decide if a password or a username um, met what they needed or what you needed them to. So, but in this case, we're just making one check, and that's just for to make sure it has a number in it. So, character dot is digit, and we want to check if the character is a digit at pw dot, and we're going to say character at index i. Okay, and if that's the case, we will say digit. Ah, can't type today, guys. Plus plus. All right. So what does this mean? It says if the character is a digit, and we're going to look at the password, and we're going to look at the char at the index i. So you're gonna a string is an array of characters. So let's say that my password was um a uh, dog. It would you know it's a string, but it's a string of characters. So when you look at it that way, this would be index 0, index 1, index 2. So it's going to go through there one char at a time and check what um, if it's a digit. So if it is, throw that. Um, let's see. Why is this over here? Okay. And so... After the for loop, we're going to check if digit equals equals zero. So if digit is equivalent to zero, or never changed, you know, never incremented, we can say throw, not throws, but throw new, that's also important, throw new must have number exception. And in the parameters, we are going to pass the, the password. Okay? And we're going to have to throw it up here. Or, yeah. So let's do that. We're going to put throws must have exception up here. And we're going to handle it with a try catch in the main method up here. So when it says must have new number, or must have number exception, and it takes in PW as the parameter, what that does is in the constructor it takes in the password and in the to string if this is called it'll print out your username must contain at least one number and it'll print out that password that was passed in the parameter to show you that was not a valid one alright so remember what I told you about while and do while loops a do while loop will help you execute the code first and then check if um, if you need to if you can redo the code or not so let's make a boolean value let's say um, good equals um, false okay so pretty much I'm just setting up a boolean value and I'm going to try to pass in that username and if it's good I'm gonna I'm gonna change good to true and in the while statement it'll say while good equals false and that means it'll keep doing code while good is false but if you give a good password that one that or a username that has a number in it it's going to stay false or go to true and you don't have to keep trying to enter new usernames so let's do this do and down here we'll set this up now while good 
um, equals false. Okay, so now um, we might need a scanner. Let's instantiate a scanner real quick. Scanner input equals new scanner, and we're going to say system dot end. So we're going to be passing usernames with through the keyboard. So let's import that real quick. Okay, so we're going to system dot out dot print. We're not going to say print line. We're going to say print. And the reason I want to do that is I'm going to ask for a username, and down here it will say, um, please put username or whatever in colon. And you, when you type, it'll type right next to it, to where if you had put print line, it'll type below it. And I don't like the way that looks when you're trying to type something in. So let's say, enter a username. And give it a little space. And then we're going to say um, string. Oops, why did I say password down here? I'm trying to do password. Let's say username. Change all these to username. Sorry, guys. Okay, here we go. So string username equals input dot next okay so the next thing that person types in there and presses enter will be put into the variable username right there and now we want to call this method and we're going to say check for digits and we're going to pass in that username okay should get a yeah an error right here we're going to try and catch this right here and handle it right here. So let's get rid of stuff that's already there. And we're going to say um, system.out.println. And we're just going to say E. And we're going to concatenate that with an escape sequence that just creates a new line. And watch, I'm going to run this real quick and just watch the process. Okay, so it's going to ask for a username, and because I said print instead of print line, I can type it right next to it. So let's say I wanted to say Nick Programming. Okay, it says your username must contain at least one number. Okay, and that's the, that was the two string of the, the exception, and that's, um, that's what E down here is. It is catching the must have number exception and the parameter E so you can call it with the E right here. Now let's say Mick Programming uh, 27. And once it checks if the username actually works instead of having it keep looping through we need a way to stop this so because I said boolean good equals false up here we're gonna say good equals true we're gonna set it to true right here and it may look like it will always set it to true but first it's going to try this and if it doesn't work if an exception has to be thrown it's not going to run what's underneath of it so let's try that again. Enter a username, say make programming. Okay, we need a number in there. So, so say make programming um, 27. Okay, so there, that works. So thank you all very much for watching this. I hope you got a lot out of this course. Uh, I plan on making another course, and I hope you guys follow me. Um, and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. These videos will be posted there. And please visit my website, mcprogramming.org. And there will be news or updates or anything uh, interesting that I'm up to on that website. So thank you all very much. And congratulations through making it, for making it through the whole course. Thank you.